What's up, everybody? I know you've seen some images or some games in which there was a remote camera body used, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Uh, remote cameras are great for sports such as basketball and hockey. And uh, basically what you've got is a primary body that you're using, and you have a second body that has a remote trigger on it. Now, the industry standard is pretty much the pocket wizard, but pocket wizards are rather expensive, and especially if you're starting out and have a little bit of a budget you have to stay within, uh, I'm going to give you an alternative here, and that is the Young Nuo uh, RF605s. Now, uh, this happens to be the RF605N. The N just stands for Nikon. Uh, if it's a 605C, it would be a compatible unit for Canon. And the way this works is you've got one unit. This one happens to be, I've got set as a transmitter, but uh, as you can see, they're exactly the same. With the uh, Young Nuo 605s, either one can be transmitter or the receiver in this case. So I've got this one set up as a transmitter, and I'll take it, and it just goes into the hot shoe of my primary body of the body that's going to be in my hand that I'm physically going to be pressing the shutter button on. Uh, once I turn it on, you'll see the lights on here. Um, it has six different uh, channels that can be used. So if, if, if you have, say, three bodies and you want to run one body under one goal, one body under a second goal, and you're trying to cover one team, then you'll... Uh, you can change it from, say, channel A to channel B, depending on which unit you have set up on which go. So anyway, you set that up in the hot shoe of your primary body. And then the second unit, you can either fit into the hot shoe, or uh, you can set up on a small articulating arm as well. But uh, this one then plugs in to the side, and then we'll go into your remote shutter release uh, port on your camera body, which looks something like that. And then every time I press the shutter here, the shutter on this unit also fires. So that's how the remotes work. These uh, Young Nuos are much cheaper, and I think you'll find some pleasure out of them. I'm going to show you an example of how I've used them in a few of my bodies. The purpose of using a remote is so you can get different angles. And again, the Young Nuo is a great uh, replacement or a, a great cheap version uh, to use in place of the Pocket Wizard. Now, uh, you can see that I've got the camera mounted here and I've got the remote already turned on. Now, to kind of give you an idea of how far this remote will reach, I'm going to be located, find a good way to do this, I'm going to be located on the floor down there. And it will still reach, when I fire my camera on the baseline down there, it'll still reach a signal to this through this metal grate and take shots every time that I hit the shutter button as well. So you'll see some of the uh, shots I get after this in a few minutes and you'll see what you can do with this. Now, other places you can mount a remote uh, would be behind the goal um, or you know, behind the basket, underneath the basket, a floor mount uh, or even a rail mount such as, uh, such as like on the entranceway down here to give you different angles other than just the shot from the baseline. But anyway, let's see some of the shots I got from this remote right now. Now you can see on the first image where uh, basically we had a bunch of players coming in and it, there was a foul. But with the overhead, uh, it gives a different perspective of everything. And then on the second image, you see the shot when I press the shutter, uh, what I had from my handheld camera. Then we've got another shot where uh, there was a layup and the player was kind of carried underneath the backboard. And you can see the image there that was taken from the remote camera overhead. And then again on the second shot, 
you see the same exact shot. This is where I press the shutter on the handheld camera uh, to kind of give you a comparison that both those went off at the same time. And then on the third one, you see this is just a, a layup that's going in and uh, overhead just cropped it a little bit tighter and then the resulting shot from the handheld camera as well. Now, if you like this content, please hit subscribe, uh, hit like, and uh, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to talk about anything that you want to in the, in the future as far as photography or this camper van build, uh, but mainly photography. And uh, until next time, we'll see you later.